Hello everyone. I decided to get a head start on better armor with nanosuit armor from Industrial Craft 2. I'm not quite ready to check it off my clipboard though. For one thing, it's taking quite a while to charge with the simple coal generator I'm using, and the advanced jet plate with the jetpack built in is quite complicated. In fact, I may choose to go a different way for flight, as much as I was looking forward to advanced jetpackery. The texture pack for today, by the way, is the John Smith Technician Pack downloaded through the FTB loader. Now, I'm thinking a nice pair of wings should do the trick. That's going to call for both a nether star and unstable ingots. For both those things, we'll want to take down the Wither Boss. I already have a supply of Wither Skulls, but you may wonder how I can engage the boss safely in the comfort of my own home. Let me finish digging this out and I'll show you. Here we have your basic Wither Confrontation Room. Normally I'd use reinforced obsidian or warded stone for the ceiling, but grief prevention also prevents most explosions from damaging stuff within, so the cobble up here may as well be bedrock. So, we build the wither on top of this stone and activate this lever. The stone pushes the wither up a meter and its head goes into the gap above the cobblestone. It's the same setup usually used with the bedrock that forms the roof of the nether. If I'm wrong about this, it's going to be hilarious. Alrighty then, 
All that and a yellow heart too. I imagine all of you know what's about to happen here. Everything is in place. Now we just wait for midnight and make all heck break loose. Anybody know any good jokes while we wait? If so, tell them now. Any moment now. And it's time. Time is right. Sorry, Feet. Wow, lots of skillies. Normally, I would try to save that Cursed Earth, but on this server, Cursed Earth spawners are against the rules. You can't turn them off, and they constantly create lag. But, I have the sigil activated. And it's time to get to work. Okay, so you may think that we just went through the big scary part. No, this is the scary and dangerous part. We're going to try crafting a couple of dragon wings, but I want that recipe right there on the front. There, because if I can shift click it, I can't shift click it. It just clears out the box. That's dismaying. Let me try again. Nope, shift clicking from the inventory doesn't work either. It's almost like they planned ahead to make my life hard. Recipe doesn't even work in the crafting station. Iron, sigil, diamond. Yeah, the recipe is correct. But the station doesn't like the recipe. Okay, well, I suppose it's alternative time. or if you prefer, old school time. Let's do this up here. Yeah, this should work. If I can go fast enough. 
when I have my stuff organized and ready. Recipe the way I want it. And we'll try shift clicking one more time. Nope. Okay. And go. Go faster. Come on, thinkers. Come on, the other star. Other. And go. And it's not appearing. It's not blowing up either. Backwards? No. I think it's just my time has run out. Suspect that I'm really screwed. Yep. Okay, that was kind of dismaying. Nothing for it but to try again, I suppose. Okay, so more ingots. And more diamonds. This whole thing is getting really expensive just in terms of diamonds. I can only try this three more times. Must remember that the leather goes on top. And go fast. Faster. Lag spike. Hate those. Uh, gold. And trapped. Oh well. Okay, so I've been considering carefully my strategy. I think what I need to do is to go faster than the first two times. And possibly know what I'm doing. And remember where the gold is. So, dividing by diamond, and go. And leather, and... And I got it. I got the ring. Now, what are we going to do about this thing? Clearly we're going to need some more nodes here. That's going to call for a lot of infrastructure, at least a silverwood wand, which will call for infusions and so on. 
I have a place picked out for my infusion altar, but let's see if I can do a shortcut on capturing a node. I've been saving up server money for a few days. On a lot of servers you earn money by killing mobs and selling stuff to the server, which basically means deleting it. Here you can only get it by voting for the server on a website or by commerce with other players. We have a shop run by admin with some hard to get items including nodes. Let's see what the prices are like. Wow, $2,800. That's more than twice what I have. I guess we'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. To start with, we're going to need a lot of candles, which means we're going to be playing with this fellow some more. But before we even start on that, I'm going to start on these. Aha, very funny. I suspect my earlier problem with this had to do with having too many pipes going into it. All right, cold block on fire. That's enough out of you. Here's where I'm going to place the infusion altar. Underneath it, for stability, I'll be placing a bunch of candles and a bunch of crystal clusters. Actually, I'm going to start out with the candles and then decide whether I need to place the crystal clusters. The candles will go on this platform as it becomes more fleshed out in what's basically a carpet formation. For magic tallow, I'm going to need a lot of zombie flesh and a lot of Precatatio. Zombie flesh obviously will be coming from zombies, but the best farmable source for Precatatio that I've found is Netherwart. For the rotten flesh, I happen to have a mine under my base. This is one of the cool things about Minecraft. In other games, it's all about the zombie horde or surviving whatever onslaught the game throws at you. Here, we hunt monsters for what they have, and if that gets tedious, we build machines to kill them for us. Speaking of which, why am I doing this? 
We interrupt this build to bring you the noise I just heard out my back door. Hello, chicken. Yoink. Okay, so back to what I was doing before. Surviving lag spikes. And automating rotten flesh. The vacuum hopper is left over from an earlier test. And nine flesh. And now eleven flesh. Excellent. We're going to save up about a stack. It would seem I did not secure my spawning room as well as I thought I did. Quite a party going on here. That's odd. There's no way they should have escaped that. Well, where did they come from? Maybe someone forgot to close the door. All right, there's my stack of flesh. And apparently, I've been adopted by a wither cat. I know what you're thinking. Kill it before it kills me. I just can't quite bring myself to strike it first, though.
right then. We have everything in place to make the silverwood wand core. And so... Magic. Going well so far. It's starting to look like this might go through pretty smoothly. Oh, spoke too soon. Porto shard. Porto shard. Something's missing. We're just going to have to start putting random things on there until it eats it. Pretty show. Air. Wait. Fire. Eat the fire. And core. Well, I guess that settles the question of whether we're going to have to put up crystals. So, we want silver caps for the silver wood wand. And like thomium caps, it requires an infusion, which is going to require potentia and aurum. Potentia is easy. I've got jars of that stuff. But the aurum is a little harder to come by. Only decent source of it I know of, in fact, is these ethereal essences which you can either get by breaking nodes or murdering wisps. We'll probably go with wisps. Okay, so I just had this warp effect. Flux flu and thaumaria. What is... Oh. Ew. That's just wrong. Thaumaria. Now I have to go change my armor. And wash it. I decided to try a mine factory spawner this time because they're cheaper to build. Come here, little fellow. Hey, quit that. Just trying to give you a safe home. Come on, get, get, get in the ball. Get, get, yoink. Yoink, I say. Yoink. It won't yoink for that. Joint. There. That's better. So it'll be going in an Ender IO spawner after all. As I always say, 
why be murderous and evil when you can get a machine to be murderous and evil for you? Excellent. Okay, so finally it's Silver Wand Cap time. Wow, that's the smoothest things have gone all day. And so we have our silverwood wand. All that remains is to charge it up and collect some nodes. Well, I bit off a lot more than I can chew in one episode, folks. This one has already run way too long and we haven't even started with the decoration yet. Next episode, I promise, will be almost all decoration. If you liked this episode, you probably have more patience than I have. So by all means click the like, and if you didn't, by all means leave a comment. We'll start decorating soon, and until then, have a nice day.